In my recent video on the touring accessories for the Triumph Scrambler 400X, the one accessory that seemed to raise a little bit of concern among viewers is a carbon racing windshield. So I thought I'll make a separate video on its long term review and answer some of your questions. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. The Scrambler 400X is an amazing motorcycle. The only thing that prevents it from being the most enjoyable on the highways is a strong wind blast that it has. Especially after we installed the handlebar risers and the ergonomics improved from a hunched position to an upright position. That's when we decided to go for the carbon racing windshield for the Scrambler 400X. It's been around 5000 kilometers with it, so let me get into the long term review of it. Coming to the pros and cons of the carbon racing windshield for the Scrambler 400X. So the first main pro of the carbon racing windshield for the Scrambler 400X is the reduction in the wind blast. The windshield reduces the wind blast to the torso considerably, that is the abdomen and the chest level. Don't expect the windshield to cover your entire body and reduce the wind buffeting completely. You cannot convert your Scrambler 400X into an adventure tourer just with this windshield. It will considerably reduce the wind blast to the torso, that is the abdomen and chest and up to a level of shoulder if you are 5'5 and below. This reduces the fatigue when you are covering long distance on the highway because you don't have to put a lot of effort in holding on to the handlebar at higher speeds. Coming to the second pro of the carbon racing windshield is the looks. Now aesthetics is very subjective, even I didn't like the look of carbon racing windshield on the Scrambler 400X when I got it installed. But it kind of grew on me and now I think the bike overall looks better with the windshield. Now coming to the cons of the windshield. The first con is a slight increase in the wind drag. I've noticed a slight increase in the wind drag when you go at speeds beyond 180 km per hour. So in my opinion, it's not a deal breaker at all. You'll notice a slight difference with and without the windshield when you go at a speed higher than 180 km per hour. That's a slight increase in the wind drag. The second con that I noticed to carbon racing windshield on the Scrambler 400X is that the windshield mounts on the stock number plate mounting points. So you have to go for an aftermarket number plate holder to install the number plate above the fender. And you cannot install the high fender accessory that comes from the Triumph also. Now coming to some of your concerns, does the windshield cause any instability? I can understand where this is coming from because the windshield mounts directly to the handlebar. Two of the mounting points directly come and attach to the handlebar. So in theory, it will cause some kind of instability when you go at higher speeds because the wind blast is directly transmitted to the handlebar in, and it can cause a little bit of instability. But in my opinion, in, the, in real world scenarios, in real world use case scenario, I have not noticed any instability even at going at 160 km per hour. I have touched 160 km per hour on the scramble of index on the highways and I have not noticed any kind of instability or wobbling or any kind of uncertainty on the handlebar after the windshield was installed. Now the second concern I got is does it increase the ambient temperature? Now the visor on my Himalayan 411 used to cut off the wind buffeting so much that I used to feel very hot and I used to sweat a lot even when I am travelling at 110-120 km per hour because it reduces the wind buffeting to a great extent. And when I installed the windshield extender from Prospec, the wind buffeting was cut off a lot that I used to feel very hot and I used to sweat a lot even when I'm riding at high speeds. Luckily, this windshield doesn't have that issue. It has a small hole in the front through which it lets enough air to your body to keep it cool when you're traveling at high speeds. So this windshield doesn't increase the ambient temperature around your body. Now the third concern I got is, does it hinder visibility? Absolutely not. If you are someone not used to riding with a wind visor or a windshield, then it can be difficult at first and you'll need some time to get used to it. But this windshield windshield in particular does not hinder visibility in any way. Now coming to the final concern that I got, does it increase vibrations or a buzz on the handlebar? In my real world use case scenario, I have not noticed any increase in the buzz or the vibration of the handlebar after I installed the windshield. Again, this comes from a concern that because it is mounted to the handlebar, it might increase the vibration of the buzz, but I have not noticed any increase in the buzz or the vibration after installing this windshield. So in conclusion, the carbon racing windshield for the Scrambler 400X is a very good product and it helps a lot in cutting the wind blast coming to the torso on the Scrambler 400X. I would recommend everyone who's using the Scrambler 400X primarily for touring to get the windshield so that you can cover long distance on the highways without much fatigue. The windshield is available in two different colors. One is a tinted black color and another is a clear one. I will leave the product link in the description below so that you can go and check it out. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I would love to know your thoughts on the windshield if you already have it installed on your Scrambler 400X or your Speed 400. Post them 
on the comments below and I would love to go through it. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.